I think we both a little weird, <laughs> in a way. So like, <laughs> you're weird. I mean, uh, you can you got you got to accept it. I accept that I'm weird. He's in his own world. You <laughs> in your own world. So. Here's Royce. Fires three. Rebound. Big man. Take it home. Go Bear. I have the pleasure of introducing the one and only Rudy Gobert and Hassan Whiteside. And we have a few nicknames for you guys. The Wasatch Front and fans have proclaimed you guys as H&R Block. I like the nickname. I like it, but what, what is H&R? <laughs> it's a hot side of Rudy. No, I know. But it's an insurance, is the, it's the, an the insurance company. Exclusive. It's tax or insurance? It's taxes. I thought it was insurance. Who knows, but it's now the Hassan and Rudy <laughs> Block. It's now the Block Party. <laughs> You guys have, in many ways, changed the perception the media tried to create. I think in many ways, the media was like, these guys aren't gonna get along, but you guys have proven that you have a great dynamic. And so I wanna know what started this friendship. Um, I just think us just playing Call of Duty, you know, just, um, I knew when I first met him, I didn't know he played Call of Duty. So I think that just kinda developed into time. And then next thing you know, I'm going to his house and, then we talking about crypto and NFTs and, and just different things like that. And um, we realized we had a lot in common. I think the same, you know, I, I think when you play against someone, you know, in the media, especially when we, I mean, there was many years in Miami when, you know, we were both leading the league in blocks and rebounds. So every time we were facing each other, and even when we didn't face each other, like people were always comparing us and, you know, and there was a, some competition, you know, we want to be, we want to be the best center in the league. So like, I'm really competitive. So back then, like, it's just com competition. So I'm just trying to to kick his ass and I'm not trying to be friends with him. You know what I mean? It, and it, it was the same. I mean, we were just yeah. competing. Yeah. But um, now that I, I got to meet him and got to know him and. Like you said, we have a lot in common, you know, and, uh, and I think he's a good guy. And I think, uh, you know, it's uh, now it's about, you know, how can we help this, this team uh, win a championship and how can we make each other better, you know, on and off the court. What was the conversation that you had with Rudy when you decided that you wanted to play for the Jazz? Um, I think he was the first person to reach out to me. You know, um, he had texted me, I was in Vegas. And um, just basically like, man, I'm, I'm here to help. You know, I'm trying to compete, um, do something special here. And um, I just wanted him to know, like I was all in from the start. You know, like he said, we both led the league in multiple categories. So, um, you know, we want something bigger, I'm trying to get that championship for the Jazz. We both make each other better. So, you know, when, when, he, comes in, when he comes in the game, like I'm always, uh, I'm not mad that I'm coming out and you know, like oh, thinking about myself, I'm, I'm just like trying to always like give him a little something to motivate him or give him a little advice or whatever it is. Like, you know, try to push him to, to make sure that when he's on the court, like he, he's being the best Hassan that he can be. And, and that's what you need, you know, like when, from a championship team that you need guys that embrace their role and, and are there to make each other better. What would you guys say is the biggest myth as the big man or center? I think a lot of them that a lot of them can't score. You know, I think um, just the way the game is played, you know, it's just different. You know, it's um like I like when I got here, Coach Coach Snyder told me he was like, we're not gonna really throw it to you in the post like you probably haven't before. It's just the way our, our system is built. You know, you can't you gotta be yourself. You gotta you know, find your identity. And now we saw that over the last few years, like teams with uh, dominant big men have been back uh, on top, you know. And now I feel like teams are really finding their own identities. And, and we, we always kept our identity, you know, we kept building, you know, around that. And, uh, and now we're in a position when, you know, we are a very unique team and our, our center are like cornerstones of what we do offensively and defensively. And, uh, and at the same time, you know, we play, uh, I mean, we, everyone is shining, you know, the guards, uh, the wings. I mean, the, we, we just try to play basketball when we, we find the, the best shot possible. And it's been very efficient for us. The triggers are created by the big man rolling, you know, and them guys are getting downhill. 
you need somebody that can finish well in the paint to bring them in so you can get threes, you know? Um, so I just, think it's, I just think it works. Perfect. Well, this concludes an H&R special, H&R block special, and we're good. Right, good. You guys gotta do it at the same time. This has been an H&R block special, and yeah. <laughs> right. Close it off. Thank you guys.